Dermatology is that kind of specialty that the first thing you see in a person is their skin. And art's like that too, like when you look at a Renoir or a Matisse or uh, someone who paints beautiful tones of skin or Vermeer, in fact, they use something called an illuminant. Um, and in fact, I named one of my products after illuminant um, called Illumino, which is a luminizing facial oil. But back to art, I'm always looking at the composition of faces, so volume, texture, I'm just naturally drawn to it and I, in kindergarten, got an A plus in art, so I thought maybe I was an artist, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> so, but I've always been interested in art and I moved to New York City long ago in the 80s when art was on fire in Soho and I was lucky to have Basquiat and Keith Haring living in my neighborhood. The very first painting that I bought was in a thrift shop window called Housing Works, which donates all of its money to HIV research. And I saw this painting and it reminded me of a Brock or some famous artist. Painted in 1957 and it reminds me of a black man with an orange suit playing a piano. I like the way Alex Rose captures youth at its different stages and he shows us that it's not always perfect. Um, in the case of the boy with the golden face, um, I'm not sure what he meant. Um, if he meant that he had a bright future or if he meant that people idolize youth. And the other one shows a gold miner covered in gold after a long day's work. Her wealthy people you know, panning or digging for gold. And I like the contrast. The black and white photograph is a picture of Kelly Slater, world champion in surfing. It's a sensual picture of an athlete, and we don't see that very often. But it's also my job to look at people's skin, and this person has two skins. He's got a wetsuit, which is really a form of his skin pulled down from his chest, and you see the skin he's wearing and the skin within. Skincare and art are all about light reflectance and light particles. So when you tie all these things together, um, really my products are my palette. And there's a real interplay between me looking at paintings every day and trying to translate that into work that I do, both in my skincare line, Colbert MD, but also in how I reconstruct faces. <laughs>